Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Use your creative skills to make money. Um, and this is a, a bit of follow up to what I was talking about in the uh, last episode, just a bit, but just in general, especially with the economic situation nowadays, use your money to use your creative skills to make money. You, uh, seriously, because one, especially with the creator economy, um, that's one of the ways you can do something. Like when I talk about the creator economy, primarily uh, making videos and stuff on social media, uh, doing what I do, you know, sharing your knowledge about whatever subject that you're very good in. Everybody, if you if you knowledgeable about a subject, you can do that. And that's just one way. But when I say creative, I mean, are you a writer? Are you a writer? Can you write fiction? Are you an artist? Are you a musician? Are you a poet? Like one of the things with creativity is people always want it. And yeah, people are talking about automation and everything, but I don't think we're at a point. Yeah, I must say we're not at a point where, uh, you know, um, AI automations are writing best-selling novels and stuff like that or drawing pictures, but actually you got some who can do those things. But one of the things with the creative fields is it's very much, it's still very much a human touch. It's, it's a human feeling. Like when an artist creates some paintings that can be sold, that can be sold, you know, for people's houses, whatever. Uh, that's more of a creative thing. You got to feel something with it. And it would probably, yes, you could probably get some AI. I could like do a good painting and stuff like that, but don't have that same feeling. But being creative um, in any way, just using it to try to make some money. Now, yes, it's tough to make a living with it. That's why they have the term starving artist. But always keep in mind a part time job. So say, you know, you have to work in one of those service professions that hasn't been automated or whatever you're doing or blue collar job white collar job, whatever, whatever you got. All right, if you have the opportunity, you have the time, use some of that creative talent you have. Maybe you're a poet. Now somebody say, well, how can I make money that way? Well, poetry book. You can do videos on poetry. You, it's like if you did a YouTube videos or YouTube page just talking about poetry, you can go a long way. Think about it, you know, set, set up everything, do that poetry, everybody snapping their fingers, or had a sound effect of somebody snapping their fingers, talking about how beautiful a queen is, just the stars shining and all of that, talking about the ants going through the grass doing their nature thing, all of that. I can see I ain't really a poet, but you can make some money that way if you can get a thousand subs and monetize your page. Or, you know, maybe you're a musician. Maybe you're a musician, maybe you're good with music. I've, you know, I got licenses from, uh, how many people now? Four people for their music. <laughs> you know, you can make music and stuff. Maybe some people need those sounds. And writers, I'm gonna tell you what, writing, because that's my main profession as a, as, as a writer. The way things are set up now, you can just maybe hook into, uh, a platform like Amazon, and for very little money, you just need talent. You can you can have books on there. You just got to get people to buy the books. Indeed, they will even edit it for you, set up a design, and you're just paying a little bit of extra money. Just a little bit of extra money, but you can still make money that way. Because that's very important, because one of the things is like in the last episode, I talked about automation dealing with a lot of uh, service professions. Now, unfortunately, all of them might not have that musical talent or any type of creative talent. But if you do have it in this day and age, you need to like use it. Let me use writing for, for an example. I wanna tell you what with writing. I figured out way back in the day how a whole uh, many economy can be created just from writing a book. Just from writing a book. Because the thing is, once you do something, well, let me use the book thing for an example. Okay, somebody writes a book. 
all right, you still need somebody to put it together, uh, like actually physically put it together, printing. But even before then, you still need an editor. You need somebody to dis uh, design the cover. Um, you probably need to buy a computer program to properly uh, format it and everything, or something, or a laptop, something, something like that. You know, you still need to do a lot and then get it to the printers. Uh, you know, you can have logistics in there. They maybe have a van or something to deliver the books to you. Or you can pick it up yourself. But I'm just saying, you have so many things. They have to deal with paper and everything. It's so many things. And then maybe even electronically, however you do it. But there's so many other things that come into it. It can, the, Your book can go into a bookstore. So... You know, you have whoever's renting out that space, the landlord, they're making money, the store is making money, they're creating jobs and everything. You can have social events for it. It's, it's so many things. That's my point. And that's just with writing. See, the thing is, if you're talking about the creative fields, there's a lot of jobs. There's a main job, maybe creating a material that you want to sell or something. You can be an artist. Somebody has a space where they can um, showcase art or even uh, create frames and everything for it. It's so much, but it comes from the creative thing. You still have to do it. And the beauty of it is, if you're talking just pure creativity, that's coming from right here. You don't have to really, for the most part, you don't have to pay a lot for it. Maybe you might have to pay for an instrument or something like that. But honestly, a lot of creative things, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of money just to do. It's just a matter of your personal creativity. And, I would just say this, think about what you could do. Think about what extra, like I said, it doesn't have to be a full-time job because that's tough. Trust me, I've been in that position. I mean, I've had, I, that's one of the reasons I had thousands of jobs <laughs> because my main thing was writing, but you know, they, I would go through some peaks, some valleys where I would say, okay, I gotta get a job. One of those service professions, which that's another thing that could hurt some artists. There's a lot of artists who will get a service job just to help support them while they're working on their craft. But oof, it's a shame. But anyway, you know, you want to think in terms of, OK, what can I do? What can I create? What can I bring together? What can I use to make a little bit of money, even if it's just a little bit, you know, just a little bit? Because people, uh, with everything happening, especially with automation and recession, just needing money, period. I mean, food's costing. I remember I used to could spend, I do, I have a vivid memory. I could spend $100 on some groceries and I would have, it would fill the whole cart up. I might have to get a second cart. Now I could just use one of those short carts or sometimes even a basket and still spend $100. So you got to do what you have to do to make money. If you are blessed with any creative skill, talent, or whatever, think about how you can monetize it. Even if, like I say, even for a little bit of money, it's, hey, it can make a difference uh, between like maybe paying a bill, eating, putting it into your savings just to be able to fall back on it. And then, hey, if you could do it full time, that's even better. But still, it's still bringing in money. It's another income source if you have a full time job or whatever you're doing. So seriously, uh, think about that. Whatever you're creative, whatever you can create, think about monetizing it, doing something with it. All right. So with all that said, y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money. <laughs>